boys. This is a good and bad thing that all these uh, Angus steers are headed uh, headed off. First thing that's good about it is this big paycheck that came along with it because it's probably 10, 10 or so uh, steers on that one side. Or, yeah, close to, but that's a good paycheck for this farm. Second thing is this silo cannot support all of them. Uh, that was way too much head for this one silo, so that's a good thing that we'll have some over that will have really close uh, corn silage to when we harvest it and uh, put up in the silo. That means we'll only be about a couple of weeks or so when by the time we harvest it, put it in the silo before we run out. Usually run out about a couple, about a week or two before you harvest this year. We actually ran out about half a month to a month before we actually filled the silo again. And I'll actually play a video right now, or in a couple of seconds here, of when we did chop the corn because it was pretty interesting and I had a I just must have never posted the video up on here so uh, you guys get to watch a little bit of that today uh, anyways that'll be probably it for today Grandpa Ray did most of the tours and we don't have to bring any high uh, corn out to the bunk because those steers don't need it anymore because there's only two of them on that one side another good thing about uh, those leaving is uh, one of Grandpa's one of Grandpa's brothers is actually going to bring some Holsteins back over to this farm so we some more Holsteins over here, which is very good. Those raise about two to three years each, which is always very good. And then we'll sell them for a pretty good paycheck. Uh, you won't make too much on Holsteins or nothing like that because the time and effort you put into machinery costs and cost of feed and cost of corn and everything else. Uh, so actually it's a very low paycheck you get, but these, whole, these Angus, free breeding because we got a bull now. He gets it for very cheap. So... We're in a good situation right now. Hopefully we stay in that situation. Uh, good thing is now it's uh, more room for some Holsteins to walk into this farm again and not have all Angus. So yeah, I'll show that video of us chopping, put in the silo right now. Well, some of you may be asking, since we sold all those Holsteins and Angus now, what are we gonna do with all the moisture corn? Well, pretty simple answer is once those calves arrive, they're gonna get this high moisture corn again, or corn. High moisture is when we take it from the field, harvest it, and then it gets shot up into the one silo out there. We have made some in a very long time, about one or two years now. He stopped doing that. Not sure if he's going to continue or what. But then this will be used pretty soon as soon as those calves come. I'm not sure when they're going to be coming. And I don't have to milk this weekend, so hopefully if they do come this weekend, I can get that on video and I can show all you guys the little calves uh, from his brother. But yeah, so now basically all we need to do is bring silage in. That's basically it for... Uh, about whenever these calves arrive. Uh, plants and seeds come pretty quick, pretty quick again. I forget one how many days it's actually away, but a lot of shit's gonna be happening pretty damn quick. It's uh, my second quarter of school just ended, or my first semester, meaning our third and fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is very, very short, and the third quarter is the second longest quarter in schooling. So that means as soon as I get out of school, I'll be always over here during the summer and it'll be warmer and there'll be a lot more stuff to do. Like harvesting uh, hay, baling it, putting it away in the barns, uh, bedding and getting bedding, all this stuff, plowing, changing over heads for corn over to uh, straw and other stuff heads. Uh, there's going to be planting, ma more manure because manure will flow a lot better. And be hauling out some more, more solid manure and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that happens in a day over here. We're not the biggest here, but... Anyways, and filling up the silos, getting that all ready. Fertilizer, filling up tractors. We have to get the 2 plus 2 pretty soon, too. We sent that over to the Amish a while back, so stay tuned for that, guys. We're going to be uh, getting that pretty damn soon. So thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Good morning, guys. We're back on the farm over here. Nor Norman, I don't know if you think. We moved him over here. He getting pretty big now, boys. Lana, Lana thinks he's a scaredy guy. Land thinks the cow's a scaredy cat because my cow was scared of him, but made some square bales over the time. And, uh, yeah, calves are getting pretty big out here. The bull already came and he, he's gone already. He's been gone for about a month or two now. And, uh, you know, Angus calves are getting pretty big. Uh, last year, boys just got cleaned out on the back of the tractor, just this field right here. Got a nice cleaned out walking back and forth to land here. Takes a lot of
We also filled up the big silo here. I'll put some videos in right now. I was filling that up uh, to roll corn chopper. Grandpa's leaving. I was just way up there tightening up those bolts because it wasn't just the right angle. Put them on. Grandpa's leaving, going to get the first uh, thing to throw up in the silo. Funk feeding bud. You guys putting some bales into the feeder for the cows now. For the calves. For the cow for the cows to steer as it goes in there. He's gonna come back out this gate. I'm holding there right now.